today we are going to discuss about an important topic in educational psychology. The topic is defense mechanism. Defense mechanism. I think it is one of the very important topics in educational psychology. Yes, you are and exactly correct. Let us discuss about defense mechanism in detail. Okay, sir. We are eagerly waiting for your class to know more about defense mechanism, sir. Oh. Okay, my dear students. Let us discuss about defense mechanism. Defense mechanism the word is first used by Dr. Sigmund Freud middle dot also known as adjustment mechanism and mental mechanism. Middle dot the defense mechanism is an unconscious psychological strategy adopted by the individual to tackle a frustrating situation. Middle dot the defense mechanism is a coping technique that reduces anxiety arising from unacceptable or potentially harmful impulses. Tension reduction activity every individual uses his own mechanism to maintain the balance of his personality in the society. Defense mechanism helps the individual to preserve his self-concept and protect him from anxiety. Types of defense mechanism. 1. Aggression. 2. Compensation. 3. Identification. 4. Projection. 5. Rationalization. 6. Negativism. 7. Withdrawal. 8. Regression. 9. Repression and 10. Sublimation. 1. Aggression middle dot it refers to forceful activity that can be in the form of either physical verbal or symbolic or all three. Middle dot it arises from the frustration where individual attempts to hurt or destroy the source of frustration. Middle dot extra punitive, dash aggressive attitudes frustration to another person middle dot intra punitive, frustration to himself. 2. Compensation. This is a mechanism in which an individual tries to balance or over up his deficiency in one field by exhibiting his strength in another field. For example a boy who fails in academic subjects may save his self-esteem by distinguishing himself in athletics. Girls wore high-heeled shoes. Why girls wore high-heeled shoes sir? As because of their short in height. But it is for their physical fitness problem. So we should not criticize on their height issues. Yes sir. What is the third type of defense mechanism sir? Oh. Okay I come to the type number three. Identification middle dot it consists of adopting the feelings attitudes and achievements of others as one's own. Middle dot here individual seeks satisfaction in associating himself in some way the success of others. Middle dot x. Children often identify themselves with their parents, film stars, cricket players or political leaders. 4. Projection placing blame for one's own actions or inadequacies on someone or else or circumstances rather than accepting responsibility for their own actions. 5. Rationalization use of a reasonable excuse or acceptable explanation for a behavior. It is a face-saving device by which the individual justifies his shortcomings, failure and incompetence by giving false reasons. Kind of excuse making process. For example a boy failed in maths make use of rationalization when he says the questions were out of syllabus. Next one of rationalization is sour gripism. Middle dot something we cannot get becomes something we did not want anyway. Middle dot here individual attempt to rationalize his external conditions rather than upon his own inability. Middle dot for example failure to qualify UK test, one might say, was a blessing as there are a lot of unemployed UK holders. And another one of rationalization is sweet lemonism. Middle dot this refers to the attitude that what is already achieved is better than something that is usually considered more desirable of others. 6. Negativism refused to cooperate and exhibit rebellious behavior doing the opposite of what is normally expected. This mechanism by which an individual draws the attention of others. 7. Withdrawal. It is the retreating from situations which cause difficulties or refusing to face problems to avoid the danger of failure and hence the possible frustration. 8. Regression. It is the mechanism of escape from reality by returning to behavior appropriate at an earlier age. In this the individual returns to less mature level of development to save his ego. 
For example an adolescent girl who has been frustrated and fulfilling her needs may cry like a child, an old man, by taking of the good olden days. Sir one doubt sir in this concept. Shall I ask sir? Why not? You can ask your doubts. I will try to clarify and clear your doubts. Diana. What is the full form of ego sir? Very good question Diana. The full form of ego is edging God out. E stands for edging. G stands for God and O stands for out. So the full form of ego is edging God out. 9. Repression an individual forges by pushing down into the unconscious any thoughts that arouse anxiety. It is an unconscious process wherein painful experience, shameful thoughts etc. are removed from conscious mind by pushing down them to unconscious mind. 10. Sublimation it involves a process of redirecting the socially unacceptable desires along desirable channels. Frustrated sexual impulses are usually sublimated as creative effort in music, art and literature etc. For example an unmarried woman interested in children may give expression to her repressed maternal urges by becoming a nurse. Sir, you have mentioned only in 10 types of defense mechanism. I won't agree with you sir. Few more types are there in it. Yes Rahim. I appreciate your knowledge. But you will study another two more concepts in your higher class. Thanks you. Okay sir. Thank you very much. So far we have discussed what is defense mechanism. A defense mechanism is an unconscious psychological strategy adopted by the individual to tackle a frustrating situation. The famous psychologist Sigmund Freud proposed 12 different defense mechanisms that we as humans use to compensate for our emotions. Some can be identified immediately, while others may be exercised by our unconscious. The 12 Freudian defense mechanisms are 1. Compensation, 2. Denial, 3. Displacement, 4. Identification, 5. Interjection, 6. Projection, 7. Reaction formation, 8. Rationalization, 9. Regression, 10. Repression, 11. Ritual and undoing, and 12. Sublimation. So we have discussed only 10 types which are very important for your present study. So study well. O.K. Next class we will discuss about the topic of attention and its types. Thanks sir. Really wonderful sir. We have received more information about diff's mechanism. Okay, See you in next class.